In my previous video, I made my office chair go up and down electrically, but today I want to add voice control, which basically means if you're sitting at your desk, all you have to say is, Hey office chair, go up. 50. If you're new to the channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button, all my parts will be linked in the description, and let's get started. To recap what I've done in the last video, is I basically took an electric car jack, fitted it to my office chair, and added a basic motor control system. But in this video, I want to add voice control, because it sounds pretty cool, and I think it would be a fun learning experience. I'll be using this voice control module V3, which is Arduino compatible and supports up to 80 voice commands. And to communicate with that, I'll be using an Arduino Nano. So after putting together a temporary circuit with three LEDs, I'll upload a custom Arduino code that will basically take one of the three voice commands and turn on the LEDs accordingly. Now that that's out of the way, let's upload the code and give it a test. Hey office chair, go up. Hey office chair, go down. As we can see, it works quite well, which means it's time to remove the electronics from the control panel so we should be able to modify it. Now the soft start circuit I've used in the last setup worked perfectly. But since I'll be using an Arduino, it won't be necessary because it can be programmed to ramp up the motor's speed using its PWM function. I'll also get rid of this buck converter which is used to lower the 12 volts down to 5 volts because the Arduino already comes with an onboard voltage regulator which can do just that. The final modification for the hardware is adding a current sensor for the Arduino so that the brain of the office chair should know when it has reached the top. I'll be using an LM224 quad op amp only because I had it laying around. Now the shunt will be made by coiling up 14 gauge wire and then wrapping it in heat shrink tubing. I'm not going for a specific length of wire, but long enough to get a small voltage drop when running over 10 amps. So after one hour of soldering, the circuit board is finally complete. As soon as applying 10 amps, we can see a voltage output of about 2.2 volts. For 5 amps, we get about 1.1 volts, and for 1 amp, we get about 0.2 volts, which I gotta say is pretty linear. And now that we have a functional current sensor, it's time to remove the control panel and install all the needed components. The cool thing about using programmable microcontrollers like this Arduino Nano is that you only have to install some hardware beforehand and then you can just tweak it through the software. I also included in the enclosure's design a hole for the voice recognition module's microphone port and a second hole for programming the Arduino. Covering the current sensor circuit is not a bad idea to prevent short circuits in the long run. I also ended up using a second Arduino Nano to identify the pins because I foolishly mounted it upside down, thus hiding the pin information. Sometimes things are just trial and error. So after soldering and installing some heat shrink for about 2 hours, the voice activated motor controller is ready to be closed up and tested. For the first test, I'll be using a treadmill motor that is capable of spinning at a really low speed which will make it easier to notice the direction. But before doing that, I created some code for the Arduino that basically has the same commands from the previous code, plus a few commands for how much the office chair should move. And now that we understand a bit how it works, let's upload my code and test out the voice control features. Hey office chair, go up. 30. Hey office chair, go up, 75. Hey office chair, go down, 100. As we can see, it works quite well, which means it's time to install it once again onto the office chair. By connecting the power wire, it is basically complete and ready to be tested. Hey office chair, go down. 30. Hey office chair, go up. 50. Hey 
Hey, office chair. Go down. 100. Now, if you didn't realize by now, almost all the clips from the office chair going up and down were like 8 times the speed. This is because the actual speed from the hydraulic pump is quite slow. And in my last video, I mentioned how I have a solution for this problem. So to begin, I'll unbolt the motor from the hydraulic pump, take apart the gearbox housing, and then mount it in my vise. After that, I'll weld the planetary gears to the sun gear, which will change the ratio from 10 to 1 to direct drive. My theory behind this is that the hydraulic jack I've used for this office chair is rated for 2200 pounds, and by going from a 10 to 1 ratio to direct drive, it will lower the maximum weight capacity to 220 pounds, which should be just fine. While it sounds like it's going to work, after bolting it down to the pump, it immediately goes into overcurrent mode as soon as trying to get it moving. So what I did next was wire up my adjustable power supply in parallel with the 12 volt lead acid battery to see how much current it takes to get this thing moving. And as we can see, it does make it move way faster, taking about 30 seconds to reach the top. But if we look closely, while the motor is powered, we can see an astonishing 36 amps, which is more than 6 times the current for only double the speed. And that tells us that the hydraulic pump is only designed for a low RPM motor, so to increase the speed, we would need an entire new hydraulic pump capable of moving 2-3 to three times the amount of oil, which is not cheap at all. If you have any video idea that you want me to create, then make sure to put it in the comment section below. If you like this video, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and consider supporting me through Patreon so I can keep creating more videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.